In this video, we're going to be talking about transforming and resizing the canvas. This image is by Ken Mo. He has some great art up in the gallery on the Escape Motions website. I really like this truck that he did. So we're going to look at resizing this canvas. So we're going to choose canvas size. Now, without changing any of the options here, we can drag down, drag up, clip the unused sections of this image. And if we click OK, we're going to lock that in. And if we grab anywhere on the canvas, we can move the selection around. We're going to leave it right here and we're going to click OK or press the Enter key. This is using the new Fractal Engine. The new Fractal Engine does a fantastic job of using AI to upscale images. All right, now we've resized the canvas. Let's click on this canvas size option again. And if we choose image size, what we're going to do is actually we're going to be changing the dimensions of the canvas. So we're going to change this to pixels so we have an easier idea of what we're working with. And then fractal, nearest, and bilinear, those are our three options for changing this image. Now fractal is the new AI engine inside of Rebel 6 Pro, which will allow us to do a massively better job at changing the size of this to something bigger. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to just click OK. So let's make a selection right here. And we're going to transform it. And let's do this with bilinear first. So we're going to make this much bigger and click OK. And now let's copy this to a new layer. And let's undo what we did here. Okay, we're going to make a selection here again. We're going to go to transform and we're going to choose fractal. Let's make this quite a bit larger and click OK. Let's move this to the left so we can see these two, two different versions. Now you'll notice the difference between the bilinear and the fractal. The image is still very crisp on the right and on the left. It's a little blurrier not quite as sharp as the one on the right. Let's do this with something very highly specific so we can see the difference. We're going to grab this little tiny icon from the taskbar and we're going to put it here on our canvas. Let's paste. Let's actually duplicate this three times. So we're going to use duplicate layer, control shift D, control shift D, and then let's move this around the screen. Let's move these. Let's move this one over here and click OK. All right, we are ready to look at this now. Let's go ahead and click on transform. We're choosing the first transformation option, which is nearest. We have bilinear and fractal. So we're going to bring this up. And we're going to bring it right about roughly in between 350 pixels all the way around. And we're going to click OK. All right now, here you can see the first option. This is the option for nearest. We're going to choose our second folder icon. We're going to bring this set to bilinear. Let's make this roughly the same size and let's click OK. You can see this one has uh, done some intelligent blurring in order to make the image less pixelated when it's blown up and let's choose our last option. Hit T for transform. Let's zoom out and let's bring this way up. Press shift and let's select fractal and let's click OK. And let's move this over next to its friends. So here you can see the difference between the Fractal image processing engine inside of Rebel 6 Pro, the bilinear one, which is the center image. This one is in Rebel 6 and Rebel 5. 
and then over here this is nearest this is just making it larger but you can see the difference between the image qualities this one over here on the left is just beautiful so clean and crisp from this little tiny image that we had on our taskbar all right so let's undo that now let's look at our canvas resizing options so here let's take our canvas size let's actually make it really tight around our little image here okay so we're going to click ok and we have a tiny image this image is 67 by 57 pixels you can see what it actually looks like now when we click ok this is going to be using the fractal engine to get us this really nice crisp image even at this tiny tiny size so here's what the image actually looks like, but using the Fractal engine, let's set this DPI back to 200 Fractal. We click OK, and you can see that this image has become very, very usable, and it's very clean and crisp. We size this back down a little bit. You can see we've got a really nice looking icon. Or what questions do you guys have on the Canvas resizing and transform options inside of Rebel 6 and Rebel 6 Pro? If you have any, put them in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.